Okay, with print, if we write like this, a plus, then this plus is a, as a printing as a text. So, it will print, print like this only, then plus b, then equal sign, it will print like this, and a plus b. So, it will, whatever input we will give in the variable, variable a and b in running a pro, executing a program, it will add these two numbers. And in the next statement, it will multiply that two number. So you can see the output. If while running a program, if we are giving five value in the variable for variable a and the seven for b, so it will add. This line will execute the this output, and it will add the five plus seven twelve. And this line will execute this output 5 into 7 is 35. So again, if we are running this program again, then we can give the another values for that. Then it will add and multiply that two values. So this is the use of input statement. This is the difference between print and input. Then input statement with variable using messages. So, program number 5, I will explain you to calculate the percentage mark CLS. Then it will print the message, enter marks. This will display a message. Then input math subject marks. For uh, We have taken M for math subject, M variable for math, C for computer, input English marks, E for English marks and Science as for science, then input Hindi subject marks, H for Hindi, then input total marks, it will print the message TM. So, all the above input will execute after typing the current printing values for each individual. Okay, then input statement every time you type the value, you need to press the enter key. Suppose we have entered the one match mark then we will have to press the enter key then we have to give after that we have to give computer marks then we have to press the enter key then english science and hindi mark okay now uh, next it will total that marks then we have to enter the total marks also okay because we have not using the total for total so it will print the message total mark then we will add these all these four sub uh, five subject marks like this m plus c plus e plus s and plus h okay math computer english science and hindi marks it will add these inputs and it will initialize that answer in some variable Okay, then percentage we will calculate sum divided by total marks into 100. Then we will print sum. It will print the total total marks and percentage. It will print the total percentage of these five sums. So we can see the output. Enter marks. These marks we have to enter while we are running a program. Math 80, 90, English 100, Science 98, Hindi 80. Then total marks will print like this 500. And the sum total marks, it means we have to enter the out, uh, out of marks. Okay. This is the these, this is the maximum marks we have to give. And the sum total of these five subject marks is 448. And the percentage is 89.6. It will calculate that percentage with this formula. So, this is the use of input statement and again we are running then we can calculate the another values. Observe that comma is being used in a program while displaying message along with input statement. So, program number 6 to calculate the area and volume of a room. So, we have to input length of the room. We have for length of the room, we have taken L variable, input width of the room. For this, we have taken B variable, height of the room. And we, for this, we have taken 
h variable. So we have to write the formula for calculating the area, length into breadth, and the volume. For volume, the formula is length into breadth, uh, width into height. So next, we will print the area of the room. Is next, it will print the area of the room with, with this area variable and the volume of the room is with VOL variable. Then end. We can see the output. If we are given value of L is 2 and value of B is 3 and value of uh, H is 4. So this is the length, width and height of the room. So it will calculate with the formula L into B. It will come area of the room is 6 and the volume of the room is 24. L into B into H. This is the formula. Okay. So, with this input statement, we can calculate the area and volume of a room. Okay, children. Now, uh, I think you understand that topic. And first, you have to learn these programs. Okay. And I will give you homework for that. In the question answer, I will give you that programs. You have to write all the programs with this output also. And you have to do practical practice for this. Okay. Install basic tools K6 on your computer and type this program. You can see this window will come after downloading. If you are opening that basic tools K6 icon, it will come in like this window. And in this window, you have to write program type. You have to type this program and then click on this run button. It will give the output like this. Okay, so you have to do practice of all the six programs that I have explained you today. Okay, now I will give you homework. So exercise A and B you have to do in your copy. Okay.